The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Now, Basil Chapman. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on the 21st of Thursday, 21st of December. We're looking at the Dow for 198 at 37,278. Kind of where we were yesterday, in a sense, uh, we were looking at the Dow up. And I was saying there's kind of a warning. I didn't, uh, I wasn't that happy with what was going on, that we had entered a, uh, I didn't say exactly what, I, uh, but I said that we had entered a short position, uh, actually a, an aggressive small short position. It happened to be three times short the SMHs, the SOXS, and it was just a clue to me that every single chart that I looked at said, you know, you're, you're in DEs and Fs, there are alternate count GCSCs, and I had questions about the alternate count. It's a, a cop-out. People, uh, One or two people said people who know my work for a long time know that it's exactly the opposite. What it does is it gives you a sense of, of what if I'm wrong? This is the count, and officially this is the technique that I use. But if certain things don't happen, you have no choice but to say, but it could be an alternate count. Therefore, it could go even higher or even lower. And that's really imperative because you've got to have those boundaries. You've got to have something to say, what if I'm wrong? Uh, that's just the easiest thing to do. Um, now, so the Dow made a leg F. Um, I don't know if it's worth singing that song by the low and sell of the high that I, I, I wrote way back uh, in the early 2000s. Um, but basically, it says... Follow the peaks and the troughs, but essentially, when you get to peak D, it's just like a little warning. Um, but suddenly, it could go to E and F. That's when a bell rings so loud it can make you deaf. And for me, the bell was, and it's still not clear. This is just a starting point to say, uh, this is what you got to watch. That on balance volume turned down exactly at the high. Well, if that's the clue, this is the Dow. If that's a clue, you need follow through. But the thing I spent time on last night, I'm going to do this right now. It's almost like a technical Friday, but I'm doing it Thursday because it's so important right now. Where we close today and then on the weekly chart, where we close. Look, this is what I was showing subscribers to my opening call. Mm. Here's the Dow. Most simple technique that you can use ever is nine period moving average and 14 period moving average. Some people use other moving averages. I use exponential always. I've just found it's the best tool that I can use. Um, and I also use the nine and the 14. I find it's the best thing for the Chapman Wave methodology. It, it helps when the price moves up and down where you've got your support and resistance levels. I love the fact that it can walk the nine period moving average. Look, even now the Dow there's that green line. It hasn't even turned down yet, even with that sharp move down yesterday. And that just says, until this nine-period moving average, and look how long it takes. You remember the August 1st sell signal I had right at the high, um, the exact high, based also on that same technique that I was talking about. And we had to wait about eight or nine sessions before it turned pink. So you have no idea yet. And look, the price, a great price of the Dow went underneath, sharply underneath the 9 and 14, and yet it took a while for them to turn down. And that's what I think is happening here over a period of maybe it takes us into early January. I'm not sure yet. And there are a couple of scenarios, and it really depends on where we close over the next two days to tell me whether or not uh, we've made some kind of at least a daily top, not necessarily a weekly. Weekly's had a spectacular move to the upside. Let me just change this to a weekly right now. So we'll go to the weekly chart. There it is. Um, that's on the weekly, huh? So I had written this. I thought I had written this on the daily chart. I guess not. 423, 427.23. That's back. 427.23. That's over there. So this should be over here. But you can see that that nine period moving average, this is a spectacular break to the upside. But the price is extended no matter how you look at it. Yes, it's gone over the previous highs, but it is extended. Extended doesn't mean it couldn't go, it couldn't get further extended. It just means this is where you've got to be somewhat careful. You need now you need the evidence 
you've got you've got the technical tools, but now the technical tools have to show you that they are weakening at this particular point. That weekly chart is not. If you look at the S and P, the weekly chart strong. If you look at the QQQ, a little different in that it is strong, but it has gone, unlike the S&P, it has gone to a new all-time high. The high was um, 405.30. I thought the high was 408. 405.30, and we've gone to 406.54. I better just check this. Wait a minute. Why did I type that in? There's a QQQ. There's four. Huh, that's interesting. Why is there a difference there? So 408.71, let me just double check. 40, ha, huh. 404.58. How on earth could I have got that wrong? Oh, that's December. I've got November. 408, yeah, 408.71. Sure, I thought I was getting a little nuts there. No, that was the high, right? And the high uh, yesterday was 409, 410.47. I thought we broke out to the upside. Look, 410.97, 10.97. So you can tell from this, just look at this visual chart of the, of the Dow daily. Forget the weekly and monthly for the moment. It has gone to a new high, and that has to be a leg B because we got to a G before. This has to be a B, and that's really positive. That says in the monthly chart that Let's just say all of January, you make no new high. That becomes a peak B. Then you let's just imagine that the very next month, February, it makes a new all-time high. That's leg C. All of March, there's no new high. That makes a peak C. All of April, it makes a leg D. All of April, it makes no new high, and that becomes a peak D. That takes you to May. You cannot find out until May whether or not. No, no, no. Let me just do that again. So, a leg B, December, leg C, February. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> it just doesn't seem possible. And leg C, uh, leg D in April. Wow. So, that's the monthly chart. And the weekly chart says, if this is a B, let's imagine all of next week we don't make a new high. That takes you to the following week for leg C. So now we're into January. Then the, the second week of January, that's a, a peak C. And then leg D starts the third week, if I'm correct, of January. Um, you can't make a, a peak D in the weekly chart until that means that every single week from now on has a higher High, a lower high, a higher high, a lower high, and higher. Gee, that doesn't happen too often, but it's already happened once where peak A or E slash A took one week's rest, and then two weeks ago it went to a new uh, leg up. And, and So isn't that interesting? So looking out, as I said to my subscribers last night in my webinar, uh, it'll be archived, it'll be there, you can listen to it. It wasn't an archive that says, you've got to listen to it today because everything that's happening, it does mean that over a period of a couple of weeks, things that we are looking for, how we want to enter position, how we're using all this, the weekly charts as a benchmark, and we're looking at the laggards trying to catch up. We'll talk about that. If I you're do. looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years 
years' experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. All right, something just came across yeah, in my uh, scanning NGL. Look at that move, yes. Yeah. So this, I'm looking at this, and it's an oil company, uh, NGL Energy Partners, diversified midstream MLP, crude NGLs, I don't know what NGLs, natural gas, something. Uh, and water solutions. Now look at this. It goes from the one area, one at one, uh, back at the beginning of the year. Maybe it was last December, year ago. <clears throat> and now it's trading at 5.45. I've seen a bunch of these just start to scream to the upside um, and then stall. And now the stalling means what? Does it mean, wow, good opportunity to get in if you aren't in? Or does it say, oh, I was stalling because it's about to come down? And um, it's tough because the 200 period moving average, it went right through it. It was resistance, and then it became a propellant. So how do you choose something like this? Well, I'm going to be doing quite a bit of work here because there are a number of stocks that are like this that have really pushed sharply to the upside. And there are ways to get in if you're really convinced, but you have to be convinced that this is a breakout of, of significance because, look, it's almost taken out all the resistance on the left going back to 2020. So um, it's just something I just mentioned. I thought I'd mention NGL, keep it on your list at 545 of two cents today. I'm doing a little bit of work and I did that during the break. Now, a couple of things. Um, let me do this because I want to follow up on yesterday. So... I can't remember if I did this. I had it already, but there were so many things going on that I'm not sure I actually did this. I was talking about the semiconductors, and because I was talking about the semiconductors, I immediately thought to myself, oh, we had Michael from Wayland who was in um, Avagio Broadcom. And I, I think I said it. I'm not sure if I said it. I had it already, and I prepared it. But, you know, I move very quickly from one thing to the next if I'm being asked questions in the den or in the Tiger YouTube. So um, AVGO, uh, AVG I wanted to say, and I think I might have said it, um, it's had a spectacular move. This is where you've got to be taking something off. And then um, I don't remember, as I say. Then coincidentally, I'm going through my going through my emails like last night after my webinar and a bunch of things. And I thought, okay, let me just check up on what was said. So, question radio show. Hi, Basil. It was last night, right? And it was sent at 12:34 p.m. 
uh, yesterday at Eastern Time. Uh, hi, Basil. Thank you for taking a look at Broadcom for me last week. I don't like it when my stocks go parabolic. As per your advice, I set a stop under the previous day's low for a portion. It held for a day or two, and I adjusted. I sold 20% of my position last week. I sold another 20% today. Thank you for the advice on money management. Uh, thank you, Michael. So, Michael, I... I don't know if that's purely coincidental that you wrote to me or whether you heard. I don't know what happened, but whatever it is, and it's all part of just money management. It is still a fantastic looking Broadcom Inc. semis. It's in, uh, it, it took over Avagio and why on earth they didn't change uh, keep the BRCM um, stick, ticker. I, I, it's, now it's become part of my vernacular, but I used to know AVGO is something else, and I. Just, I, I I'm just uncomfortable. There are certain letters that just flow off the tongue so nicely. AVGO, for some reason, I've always had Broadcom, BRCM. I love that. Anyway, so AVGO holding well. Look, he has the nine period moving average way over the nine. It's actually on the three by three. I'm keeping that a little longer. I haven't yet found a way of using the three by three. That's better than anything that I use, but that doesn't matter. I'll keep it until I learn more about it. Um, you can see just hit it. But it's holding really well. And I, I just can advise you, I if the semis keep going and they're leading, leaders don't usually just suddenly fall out of out of favor. Something has to happen. That's the reason why I said take your take your gains real quick, nice percentage gains in the uh, three times short position we had. Um, it was actually much higher earlier uh, later in the day. I just didn't want to send out anything saying it just gets complicated for some people see it, some people don't. Anyway, so you took, took gains. Now I'm kind of fresh. I'm looking at this as, as if to say, this is what I'm thinking. So let's forget Avagio for the moment. Um, uh, sorry, Broadcom. Let's go to the Dell. I want to show you something. I wanted this to be a continuation of yesterday's webinar, but this is now a public thing, not just for subscribers. Uh, why? Because it is pertinent to what I look at. So I have... A whole thing now. Some of you remember from last night, I, I had this whole thing about narrow rectangles and large rectangles, and I said I'm going to hold this for a second, but you need to look at it and study it in your own time, because what happens is sometimes the little flagpole that not the little but the flagpole in this case the little tiny doji candle like here's the Dow 120 minute chart. It gives you a very sharp pullback, but the technicals are not that bad, and what it says is that there could be a rally within this large rectangle that goes, it turns out to be like a lopsided cup, like a like a, a gravy cup, with a, with a sharp move down and then slowly makes a rising high. If it, if this 120-minute chart of the Dow starts to make high highs and higher lows, there could be a move. Usually I say you can have an A, B, C, even a D to the previous high, which was a P, D. But this move is so quick and so big that I don't think you're going to get much more. You might get a V-shaped pattern. So I would not dismiss this. What I would do is I'd go to your 120 minute, uh, sorry, the 10 minute chart right here. Let's just go and let's just open this up large. So you see that move there. This was a peak C1, C2 in the uh, 10 minute chart, but it gave fantastic signals in the daily and the uh, daily, in the one minute chart. And the five-minute chart yesterday for that sharp pullback before the nine-period moving average turned pink. And wow, what a what a slide. So what I'm looking at here, and this is a fib from a long time ago. And funny enough, it went right to the low of like the 15th of December or something. Now I'm done with this. It means nothing to me. I can make other fib numbers if I want. But this is, it's, it served its purpose. The 200-period moving average is so important. So I'm suspecting... <clears throat> What we've got, and I should probably use a 30-minute or something like that, is that we've got this large rectangle with a really good chance that we're going to make higher highs and higher lows and work our way towards the previous high. We'll only know if that's, that's a, an accurate assumption because of the speed of the turn down yesterday, it actually accomplished a huge chunk in one move. It, if it was 650 points, I would have said, no, no rally. It's going gonna, it's gonna to help it. It's, it's, it's going to rally and then fail and make lower lows. This was different. Not only, not only that, it took so many people by surprise. I mean, just 
total, so I, I might be wrong, but that's my impression. It took so many, that nobody really got a chance to short it. So this is what the, the big money does. It says, all right, whoa, 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 what happened there? Now they're going to wait for a rally to implement shorts. That's the one side of it. And the other is the longs are going to say, buying opportunity, buying opportunity. I think it's a mix. And therefore, I think there's a chance that it's going to fail underneath the previous high. And that's when we've got to be really careful. So I'm just saying to you, there's a chance that if the Dow, this is the Dow cash, I'm thinking about trading at uh, 2752 up 250. There's a chance that if it's able to close uh, about 37,390 or even touch 37,400 today, that's the scenario. That's the reason why I'm saying I'm holding back. I'm not doing any right now. We just, we've got our buys in place. We've got no shorts. Now we're waiting. I'll be back in a moment. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors you might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. So uh, let me just show you, this is the, the rectangle that I was talking about. I usually like to look at it as the middle part of the rectangle. This is now, it's a, it's a very large one because I've got it as a 10-minute chart, but if you were looking at the 120-minute chart, it would be, a, this is a narrow one. If you look at it as a sideways move, but if you look at it as uh, 120, it would be a large one. So there are techniques that go with that. Each one has a different technique. At this particular point, I can't really treat it as a, uh, a narrow one because it's had rising high. Look, it's got this up channel right here. 
Uh, let me just double double it up. There we go, like that. Look. So it's broken the base a couple of times, but there's a there's a rising channel. So this is not the sideways horizontal channel. This is a diagonal one. So it has a difference. So I normally I would put the the midpoint right here, but I'm going to put it on this candle right here. And if the Dow today <clears throat> is able to close at the 47, uh, this, sorry, this is the S&P. If the S&P futures are able to get to 47.92, so far 47.94, how can that be? Yeah, 47.94, uh, did I say 47.92? What is this then? Oh, 98, sorry, 47.98. If it's able to close above 47.98, Preferably just on five uh, on the five forty forty eight. I'd like it to go into the forty eight hundreds. Preferably forty eight twenty. If it can get there, then I think we're looking at the slow grind to the upside, and then we've got to assess when you get to the close to the top. That's number one. Number two is um, within the context of here we go in the context of what we're looking at here. Um, this rectangle is really the one that I wanted, and the nine period moving average is still over the black 14 in the 120 minute chart. That so far says it's positive. That particular technique is positive until it goes pink. All right, so I'm going through the couple of things that we need to look at. Some people ask me a couple of things that I didn't get to is I mentioned it last night because this is a chat, this is not the position that we have, which is long, that's got nothing to do with it. I'm talking about the technique of the Chapman Wave Roman candle. Really unusual to make a high. Actually, this is a multi-year high right here at uh, Chapman Wave two-bar reversal, 686 to 685, 686 on the 12th of, let me put that in, 6.86, 12, 12, 23. This is UEC, Uranium Energy. It makes on this day, the next day, it has a lower high after a doji candle at the high. It has this big red Chapman Wave Roman candle. And you remember what I said, the rule of thumb is, especially at highs, if you've got one of these, if you trade, not you, if the price trades into half wave at the bottom wick uh, for about 90 minutes, in this case, you have to go to a shorter time frame. It's a daily chart. So I'm going to like a 120 minute chart. Under uh, six um, six twenty, I think I said. Watch out because it can retest the low. Well, it didn't. It went there and then it popped right back and then it turned into. Let me expand this because this is all educational. We hear about education at TFN. Look, there's a green Chapman, perfect Chapman Wave Roman candle. Same rule of thumb. But no, this one went under the body and then uh, it went. Fractionally above, look, so the high here is uh, 675. It goes to 670, uh, 675. Oh, a little double top right there, same price. And it plunges down and it gives you this big Morboza candle, a big red candle with no wicks. Well, it has an inside bar the following day. Almost think of it as a Chapman Wave a Roman candle, a, a funny one because it didn't, the body needs to be half to maybe three quarters. This is a little different. And then it closes underneath. So isn't this interesting? I have two days. This rule is a two-day rule, maximum. Usually it's the next day with a two-day rule. Other things can happen later on. But the rule itself says if it closes above the wick for two out of three sessions, that's really positive. If it closes uh, with that wick, long wick and, and trades under, under the uh, halfway point, and goes below it, that's really negative. But if it goes sideways, now you have to use a different analysis. And so this is so fascinating because this U-shaped pattern in the monthly chart says very often you do pull back. If you're not breaking out right away, you pull back, but you make a little like a cup and a little handle. Not one of my favorite patterns. But if that produces an even stronger move to the upside, that is extremely positive. So regardless of the fact that we all along, etc., etc., I'm just saying this is a pattern that I wanted to discuss today, and it's held sideways. And I had the one big thing is that I've spoken about this and said, my I could be wrong, 
but the uranium stocks seem to be telling me that they're they're in play more than just short term, that there's something going on and that they have a little bit more life to them than just this big move up and then they're going to give it all back. So yes, uranium, this is a spot, spot, uranium miners ETF, uranium, right, there it is. Uh, it didn't make an all-time high, but the, the one that I said I love the best in chart patterns is the one we have, that's the uranium, uh, UEC. Um, now look at the... Um, CCJ, CCJ, yeah, Kamiko Core Uranium Fuel, and that's the one that I said, that's the boss, that's the, out of all the, the players, besides the ETF, this is the one that you really have to monitor. Well, it went to this peak E with fading technicals, I've been discussing it, that it, it, it looked like it was getting a little toppy, but talk about a little toppy, and then talk about what happens after that. Look at the weekly chart. The weekly chart is a red candle, but the 9 is still way over the 14. So I'm watching this to say every once in a while there's something that just keeps going higher, a very low price, whatever it is, um, or in this case, middle price of 43. Um, and it doesn't give up. It just, no matter what happens, it does pull back, but it's all minor pullbacks because it's holding the 50 period moving average and then goes high. I don't know if that's the case. I'm just saying, I'm fascinated. With, I wanted to show you the, the Roman candle. Show me Roman candle. This is something different. I'm saying this is now leg F. And I really have to think of it as an F slash C. Only because, look, the 9P moving average has still not even given a, uh, anything away in the, in the weekly chart of Kamiko Core Uranium Fuel. So this is, says to me, this is still a positive pattern. Even though the MACD is turned down, it hasn't crossed negative. Stochastic still at 86, it has turned down. On balance has turned down. So it's fascinating that in different sectors, buying just keeps coming back. And we've seen that SMHs do that all. Yeah, you know, they were extremely positive. Even the sharp pullback, they've come back pretty quickly. So I wanted to go to that. I wanted to do that. I wanted to look at Avagio. Oh, oh. Schwab. Remember, Schwab is the one that gave us that Chapman Wave vol climax volume reversal on the March the uh, 13th at 45 round number high. And then the rule of thumb is that if it keeps going higher, it can, in fact, become if it, a, a pattern that says if it holds 28 days above the low, it can go 56 days. But it did all of that except the pattern wasn't so great because it retested the 45s are going to 45, 65. I'll be back. That was up 228. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Uh, that was, oh, the reason why I want you to look at Schwab. Uh, yeah, I've gone through all that stuff before the round numbers uh, with the round number low and the volume climax. The reason why I wanted to look at this was the candle. Look, this is an inverted Chapman Wave Roman candle. If Schwab I, has one more day to go, if it's able to hold above 69.91, that's the long wick on this inverted Chapman Wave Roman candle, if it's able to hold uh, at tomorrow's the last day above. 70. It's trading at 68.18 right now. There should be a real quick move to test the high of yesterday, and it could probably even make a new recovery high. But that doji candle at F says you've got to be careful right now. Uh, nothing wrong, it's just that you've got to be careful because it's overbought and it's getting close to filling that gap, and that's what I'm looking at. So this is a Roman candle. If we're within within two sessions, if it closes underneath yesterday's low of uh, of 67.06 .06, and it does it for two out of three sessions, that says it's probably going even low. So right now it's just sideways, but watch that candle. Next thing I want to look at is, uh, where was it, the question? Oh, say, so Pat, thank you very much for all that information. Look forward period, uranium, looking out two years, and some people are saying that it could be a top. I, I'm quite prepared to accept that it's, it's a top, but the price has to tell me, because right now the price is saying, ah, ah, ah. I'm still finding strength after these candles. It should be underneath the 560 level. And right now it's trading at 644, about a, <clears throat> a point higher. And the weekly chart, the day is young. And the weekly chart, oh, that's what I wanted to mention. The weekly chart is a Chapman Wave Roman candle. The whole candle from last week. And we had a chance to, to go for a whole day underneath the uh, 614 level, which is the halfway marker. And it didn't. Um, isn't that interesting? Thank goodness I looked at that. I saw it and completely forgot. Chapman Wave Roman candle right there. So the rule of thumb gives you two days, uh, two weeks. So anytime this week or next week, if there's a whole day trading under 614, I'd even say three hours, three hours doing it, there's a real good chance we're going to test the low that was made of five. 583. But if it keeps holding like this, you could have, look, look what could happen. You've got yourself the potential for a rectangle consolidation, and it could take a while, but as long as that low doesn't get taken out, this could be a consolidation maybe for another move up. I'm not saying it is, even though we're long, and I'd like it to be. I'm looking at this and saying, nice, nice work after these candles. All right, with that said, um, let's just do this. I always like to look at it. Uh, Amazon, now let's go to Apple first. Apple. <clears throat> See the sideways consolidation, and I, I, I can't, unless I'm going to, and there's a real chance that I'm going to do some work on this over the next few days, call this Chapman Wave unconventional flat base restart, meaning that no matter where it goes on the upside, it's coming back over the next, uh, there's a daily chart, so I'd say within the next three to four weeks, to take out the low that was made on the 4th of 187.45, 
and it's it's seven points higher right now. Uh, this just doesn't say three. It just says if it rolls over. So this could be an alternate count. <clears throat> a F E slash A F slash B. It made a lower low, but because it made an instant restart, it keeps it active, and this could be a G slash C, and that becomes a D with a Doji candle, and then a tiny Doji candle like the silent silent Doji candle that we talk about. I did a webinar on it called the Chapman Wave Silent Doji. Where does it happen? It happens either one bar before, one bar after a high that could be a, a fairly significant high is made or a low. So let's just look at it that way. Meantime, the weekly chart says, hey, what are you talking about? This is really nice action that we're looking at. Uh, oops, there we are. That's what we want to look at. So Apple's holding very well. Um, at this point, it won't be if it starts to trade in the 192s. It says, oops, it could start its way down sooner. Uh, Amazon, same thing. Yes, Amazon uh, also has this alternate potential alternate count. I've called it a B because the technical so far is still pretty strong. And the, um, and the same thing with the weekly chart. I might have to make some changes here because uh, we're just following the price and trying to use whatever techniques we can. And the 9 is still way over the 14. Now, nothing here is negative except the MACD started to turn down, but it's still positive. And the stochastic at 85 is good and on balance volume did turn down. Amazon's holding very well. If in, by Tuesday, no, Christmas is coming Monday, so by Wednesday, um, by Wednesday, if there's even a spike above 155.63, and it doesn't even have to hold, as long as it makes a spike, I have to call that a C. And that'll be important. Uh, Microsoft, remember I drew the pattern. I said the lowercase h can go to a lowercase m. Then you've got to watch really closely because if it takes out the left side low of 362.90 made on the 4th of December, uh, right now it's just digesting gains. But those gains will dissipate if it starts to trade underneath that. And then you can get a one-to-one -to, -one to the downside going to the 350. So far, it's just having a sideways consolidation since the 29th of November at 389, uh, 384.30 um, all-time high. And stocks that make all-time highs tend to stay in their bliss for a while. Mm. What am I missing here? Oh, rig. Uh, yes, uh, Joe, rig. Uh, rig is trading. I, I don't see anything in rig. I did some work. I think Devon is maybe, oh, they're all in this oil service area, offshore drilling. Uh, Devon is not, I don't think it's offshore, has the same pattern. Um, I, I looked at this and I thought, well, you know, that it's just not doing what it should. And the same thing with crude oil. Look, crude oil, it's just kind of stuck here. It did hold the 200 period moving average. I showed this in my webinar last night how important this was. But the more times you hit this particular level, the greater chance that it's become a magnet and then it will drag you lower. So this really has to, crude oil has to be trading above the 200 period moving average instead of at 73.65. It needs to start trading in the 78s. And it needs to do it very soon. Um, gold, and let me just do this, gold GC. <clears throat> Same thing, sideways action. I just don't see anything. It needs a trigger. It needs something. And that trigger could be Middle East, but then I think oil will go as well. So at this particular point, holding very nicely, but it gave back too much from that uh, inverted Chapman Wave Roman candle. Anybody here learning about these Roman candles? Nobody even knew about a Roman candle ever until I discussed it about seven or eight years ago, maybe more, um, as a technique. No, wait, it must be way more because we used it for this S&P in uh, 2007. Uh, the monthly chart did the Roman candle. I, I don't know. I've, I've used it forever. Um, and it's this candle that opens with a tiny little wick, then either pulls back or rallies and then closes with the body halfway of the wick or a little bit more, uh, a little bit less, say three quarters from the bottom or half. If it's going down, is going up, same thing, half from three quarters from the bottom. Uh, and then the whole story about what happens next is really important. Okay, so I think I've done those. You can hear that I'm, I'm a little tired from having looked at thousands of charts uh, over the last week or so. Um, let me just show you this here. So this is the power of the 200 period moving average. I was just talking about it in the crude oil. 
Look at the power of the 200 period moving average in this one minute chart. Look at the power of the 200 period moving average in the 10 minute chart, in the five minute chart. Nothing yet in the, um, and the, and the 10 minute chart, same thing. It's like the sine wave moving up and down and up and down above and below. I'll be back. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. .com. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter, a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hello, so we talk about the power of the 200 period exponential moving average. Look at Ford, and I'm getting, it's very interesting. I'm starting to get uh, emails advertising $3,000, $4,000, $3,000, $4,000 off automobiles. 
I've not seen that for a very long time. Um, yeah, look at the 200-period moving average in Ford. It's gone six days hitting the 200-period moving average, just stuck there after that gap up. Hmm, look at the weekly chart. Stuck on this 200-period moving average. And the monthly made an H to M pattern. That's what we're looking at in Microsoft, very short term. Not there's a monthly, but that's a daily chart. It looks like Microsoft H maybe to an M. How it tests the left side low, it's going to be very important. And look at GM, uh, General Motors. Uh, GM trading above the 200 period moving average. A little bit, a slightly better chart on the daily, but look at the monthly. It took out that left side low. So we're going to be talking about this tomorrow. I'll talk about the uh, um, automobile companies. Check out my opening call, daily news data, my video, the, the webinar from last night should be up today. It's it's timely in the sense that it's looking at things and what we're doing, what we're preparing. Right now, we're starting to prepare for what's coming up. And 